We have only completed a beginning, beginning, beginning. There are great ideas undiscovered, 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 undiscovered. Breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers, 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 layers. For a biologist, one of the great, of the great scientific, scientific opportunities of our time is the search for life on Mars. Mars. That, question that question is so important, it will change our whole concept of life. It will change our whole concept of how life originated. The question is not only whether there is life on Mars, but whether that life has a separate origin from our own life, life as we know it. Justifications for the Mars endeavor have been offered in terms of scientific exploration, developing technology, international cooperation. Some even think we should go to investigate enigmatic landforms, including one that resembles an enormous human face. Personally, I think this, like uh, hundreds of other blocky mesas there, is sculpted by the high-speed winds. But if we're going anyway, there's no harm in taking a look. They know what's going on. They, they, they know it's a face. They know it, that it was carved by somebody else other than us, other than us, other than us, other than us. You came to the conclusion that there was water and life on Mars when? The date when I was first certain of it was February 15th, 2004. Well, a huge announcement from NASA today. Their scientists believe water is flowing on the surface of Mars. A government contract becomes virtually a substitute, 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 substitute for intellectual curiosity, 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 curiosity. Some of the Gore report says there was life on Mars. That's what NASA is not being upfront about. There was life up there. Everybody knows it. We can't be the only people occupying the universe. This shadow on the surface of Mars is cast by one of its two moons, Phobos, only about 13 miles long. The second moon, Deimos, is even smaller. Primitive chunks of rock battered by meteoroids, their origin is unknown. unknown. There's a monolith on this little potato-shaped object. Who put that there? Who put that there? There. 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 It's been there now for at least 20 years, and we're going, what is this? 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 I have more than a passing interest in Saturn. 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 Cassini would give us our closest look at Aeopetus, one of Saturn's most interesting moons. 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 Half of Iapetus appears as dark as asphalt, and the other half is as bright as snow. 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 Snow.
That's where the lone astronaut, Dave Bowman, discovers the Saturn monolith to be a gateway to the stars. 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 Who knows? One day, our survival on Earth. 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 May depend on what we discover out there.